Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Frank Fritz's close friend has insisted American Pickers is not the same without the fan favorite, with ratings for the premiere episode way down compared to previous seasons. Frank passed away at 60 years old on Monday, September 30, two years after suffering a stroke that left him in rehabilitation. The fan favorite last appeared on American Pickers in 2020 after a falling out with his co-star Mike Wolf, who he reconciled with at the time of his death. Frank's good friend Jerry Gindro exclusively told the U.S. Son how the series hasn't been the same without the star. I think the show is not nearly as good as it was. With the ratings, it doesn't have to be me or somebody thinking that. The nation knows it's not what it was. It needed Frank. Jerry previously told the U.S. Son how Frank would have eventually returned to the show had it not been for the stroke. Mike came up with the idea for the show. Mike was smart enough to know the show would be perfect with Frank, Jerry said. My analogy of the two, Mike and Frank, were like Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin. Jerry Lewis, Frank, was just as important, or maybe even more important, for the show. It's very hard to be the Jerry Lewis all of the time. I think Frank would have went back, but he had his health issues. And he did have some serious health issues. From 25 or 30 on, he suffered from Crohn's. Crohn's is a bowel disease that causes inflammation in the digestive tract. American Pickers star Frank Fritz's final wish before death revealed as loved ones remember star on 61st birthday. Jerry explained how Frank became a fan favorite on the show because of his spontaneity. He was truly the comedian who popped out with some of the weirdest and dumbest things that you just go, wow, Jerry said. Season 26 of American Pickers premiered on October 9 with Mike and Robbie Wolf, John Jersey John Shalai, and Danielle Colby. The hour-long premiere episode saw Mike, 60, picking through Evel Nevel memorabilia, including a one-of-a-kind billboard from his Snake Canyon jump. But the episode failed to attract many viewers, as the U.S. Sun reported just 565,000 fans tuned in. This is a drop from season 25, which kicked off with a two-episode premiere in December 2023. Classic Car Cemetery raked in 723,000 viewers, and part two of the premiere, Hidden Cash Stash, had ratings drop to 676,000. Episode three saw an increase to 880,000 viewers, and the numbers remained around the same throughout the rest of the month. By the January 24 episode, ratings skyrocketed to 948,000 viewers. The numbers dropped back down through most of February, with the lowest rating on February 14 at 774,000 viewers, and the highest on February 28 at 966,000. The finale episode on March 27 brought in 832,000 viewers. On premiere day, the series paid tribute to Frank by playing episodes featuring the fan favorite, who appeared on the show from 2010 to 2020. But when episode 1 of season 26 aired, fans were saddened to see there was no mention of him. One fan wrote on Reddit, There was no dedication to Frank on the season premiere last night. I feel like they should have at least made a title card at the end or something to honor him. Total disrespect. This show was and is still dead to me, commented another. I saw the title card on one of the Frank-centric reruns last night but not on the new episode premiere, wrote a third. Frank Fritz was placed under a conservatorship in August 2022, just weeks after he suffered a stroke. Frank's conservator is Midwestone Bank and is in charge of his finances. The bank agreed to invest Frank's money and collections to generate income. The guardian is his good friend, Chris Davis. Chris is responsible for helping Frank manage his Crohn's disease treatment, go to physical therapy, grocery shop, cook and more day-to-day -day tasks. The conservatorship also agreed to help replenish Frank's Iowa antique store, Frank Fritz Finds. A wheelchair ramp and more have been installed in his Iowa home under the conservatorship. Frank's final episode was in March 2020 as he left the show to recover from back surgery. The operation left him with 185 stitches and two rods in his spine. During his time off, Frank lost 65 pounds and was living a healthier lifestyle, including being sober from alcohol. Though he planned to return to the series after his hiatus, he was officially let go in 2021, Mike confirmed. 
I will miss Frank, just like all of you, and I pray for the very best and all good things for him on the next part of his journey, Mike said at the time. The two had a falling out, as Frank exclusively told the U.S. Son in a 2021 interview, I haven't talked to Mike in two years. He knew my back was messed up, but he didn't call me up and ask how I was doing. That's just how it is. I think Mike wants to get his brother Robbie in there to replace me. I don't know why he's behaving like that towards me. American Pickers posted on social media following Frank's death. We are saddened to share that our friend and beloved member of the History Channel and American Pickers family, Frank Fritz, has passed away on September 30, 2024. Frank filmed American Pickers for over a decade. We will always remember the bearded charmer and his never-ending search for vintage motorcycles and bikes. Our thoughts are with Frank's loved ones during this difficult time. For years, American Pickers brought audiences into the hidden world of forgotten treasures, antique artifacts, and nostalgic Americana. The show became a staple for fans of vintage culture and adventure, led by its charismatic hosts, Mike Wolf and Frank Fritz. Frank's departure from the show, however, left a noticeable void, and now, according to a close friend of Fritz's, many fans feel American Pickers isn't as good without him. This sentiment, shared widely among the show's loyal following, comes as the show's ratings have reportedly seen a significant dip since Fritz's absence, sparking conversations about what he brought to the series and how his departure has impacted its dynamic. Here, we'll look at why Frank Fritz's absence has affected the show so profoundly, how his unique personality drew fans in, and what lies ahead for American Pickers as it faces the challenge of maintaining its once strong audience. Frank Fritz joined American Pickers in 2010 alongside his longtime friend, Mike Wolf. Together, they transformed the show from a simple antique hunting program into a fan favorite. While Mike Wolf served as the de facto leader of the duo, known for his energetic personality and relentless curiosity, Frank brought a different charm to the screen. His laid-back attitude, humorous banter, and genuine love for the items he found made him an endearing presence on the show. Vans were drawn to Frank's down-to-earth approach and relatable demeanor, as he often focused on smaller items and collectibles that viewers themselves might own or encounter. His interests leaned toward items that held sentimental or nostalgic value, adding a personal touch to each find. Frank's ability to connect with the people he met on the road gave American Pickers an emotional depth, one that made each episode feel like more than just a treasure hunt. His personality balanced Mike's high-energy style, creating a dynamic that fans found both entertaining and heartfelt. One of Frank's close friends recently opened up, expressing what many fans have been feeling, that American Pickers simply isn't as good without Frank. According to this friend, Frank was a core component of the show's success, and his departure has left a noticeable gap that hasn't been filled. Fans, too, have echoed these sentiments on social media, expressing that the show has lost something special in Frank's absence. He was a fan favorite for a reason, his friend stated, emphasizing that Frank's authenticity resonated deeply with viewers. Unlike many reality TV personalities, Frank wasn't looking for the spotlight. He was genuinely passionate about the items he collected, and this sincerity made him relatable. As the ratings reportedly continue to drop, fans argue that it's not just Frank's collecting skills they miss, but the chemistry he brought to the show and the unique perspective he offered on each pick. This close friend also noted that Frank brought a level of realism to the show that's hard to replicate. While Mike's charisma and boundless energy are undeniable, fans believe that Frank's presence balanced the show's tone, keeping it grounded and genuine. His appreciation for everyday items over flashy, high-value finds made the show approachable and gave viewers a sense of inclusion. Since Frank's departure, American Pickers has reportedly seen a dip in ratings, with many fans stating they've stopped watching altogether. Social media platforms and fan forums are filled with posts lamenting the loss of Frank and expressing frustration with the show's new direction. Some fans feel that the program has become more commercial and less genuine, moving away from the original appeal that drew them in. Viewers have shared their disappointment, with one fan on Twitter writing, I haven't watched since Frank left. The show just doesn't have the same vibe anymore. Another fan commented, Frank was the reason I started watching. 
Without him, it feels like just another reality show. These sentiments highlight how strongly fans feel about Frank's absence and their desire for the authenticity and warmth he brought to American pickers.